Hi, my name's John McGee from Streets, and we're up here at Blackburn Community Sports Club where we're running a programme called the Invest in the Best programme with Year 11 girls from Dawn Vale High School. The programme is aimed at helping the girls achieve their predicted grades, and some of the girls are on for A star grades. So, something other people would say that you're good at? Media. Pardon? Media. Media. And what's your predicted grade? I respect other learners' point of view, so we're going to be working with each other all week. You know, if I'm, if I'm talking up here and somebody else is asking a question, just, just one person speak at a time. We respect each other's opinions, what do you reckon about that? Because we've all got different opinions here, haven't we? <laughs> <laughs> you respect your onions? Yeah, I like onions, especially in Korea. Any relationship has got to be respect. And then we've played a game called the Consequence Corner Activity, which is designed to challenge some of their values and beliefs when it comes to their education. I told you before about working outside your comfort zone. Right. So, there's a game I've got and it's called the Consequence Kit. All right. And the Consequence Kit is designed to challenge some of your values and your beliefs. Agree, to an extent, you've got completely, agree? You've got completely, Disagree? Somewhat disagree. Somewhat disagree. Okay. Just stand up a minute, girls. Just put your chair behind your head. You do not have to respect strangers. Oh, this is interesting. But why do you why do you completely disagree? Pretty much what Ronnie said, because like you don't know them, so you can't really disrespect them okay. or judge them or anything. Sayan, why do you somewhat disagree? If you like, if you if it's still strange to you, but you've heard like a bit about it, and like they've done like bad stuff and stuff, you can like not respect them. Okay, you should still respect teachers, even if they tell you off. Oh, you should still respect teachers, even if they tell you off, man. Yeah, it's a down Sayan, isn't it? Stop chirping in class. <laughs> right, completely agree, Kirsten. Why do you agree? Because they should help you. They're your teachers, and they're there to help you. If you tell you have done something wrong, then it's going to take off for a random reason. Okay. Agree to an extent. It depends what they've told you off for. Because some teachers tell you off even if you don't know anything. Or they've like been told that you've done something wrong but get you off. We also shared a model with the girls called the Consequence Corner, which is all about having respect when in a learning environment. So some of us are going to be going to college. Consequence. Corner. And I'm gonna learn I'm gonna do this lesson or this session on respect as if you were at college. Right. So the first corner I encourage students to do is this one. That's the first corner. And I encourage students just to sit up. Because I know if you sit up like this, your brain activates, you switch on all of a sudden, just from changing your posture. From this to this, because all that is is a habit. So if that's the first corner, if that's the first corner, just right there, big and strong. Have a bit of respect. So if that's the first one, what do you think the next one would be in a learning environment? Eye contact. Get in. Eye contact. Eye contact. Okay, so if you think about the model again, big and strong, sitting up. If you always sat up like this, and you're looking at the teacher, okay, and you're listening, all the information's going in. And then Miss, Mr. Sir goes, how many times have I told you, sit up and you go, what are you my case for? I'm not doing you with my case. I shouldn't. Wow. You're like that, yeah? <laughs> and you've got the attitude. You've got the attitude when you've just been really disrespectful. So what I encourage you to do is this. If you're going to open this, you can't call. If you're going to open it, you can't call. Yeah? <laughs> Let something positive come out of it. There you go, girls. Can you see that? Okay, so why is it important to understand the consequences of having respect or not having respect? Get some good ones. Get respect from teachers. They also learnt about the Moody Meter, which is designed to help them understand about emotional intelligence and um, balancing their emotions when in a learning environment. When you are in another mood, nah, no shape. 
it affects other people. If I'm in a bad mood and I go and take it out on other people, because I do, I lose friends, I lose, and then don't upset them because I'm in a bad mood. Okay, girls, what's that? Why did you reach an extent? Because sometimes you can just block people out. Like, if you're in a the mood, then people, when I'm in a mood, people just bug me, so they don't get in the mood. I don't, don't think you're a giraffe with a big long neck, black and yellow, giraffe. Well, no, there you go. Right, so what, 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 are you, what are you picturing? Now, what are you thinking about? A giraffe. <laughs> right, so all I ask you is not to think about a giraffe. If I said to myself, um, oh, I've never gone on a course at Blackburn College. No, I'm thick, I didn't get good grades. If I start saying this stuff, and I don't mean saying it out loud, I mean in my head all the time, start saying these words inside my head, it's not going to exactly drive my emotions and my behaviour, is it, to jump out of bed really happy, is it? Right, so what would a five be? Middle of the road. What? Just Gutted. Like it. You know what I mean? Are you going to have the courage to say no? Yeah, I'm going to say no. I'm no, 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 you can say that now, but if you've got feelings or emotions, how strong is your willpower to be able to say no? Nah. Can you give me a positive? So I want you to think about how you copy language. So Cyan, brilliant. When she was outside getting some fresh air yesterday, we rest at girls, looking at the trees <coughs> and a little bit of nature. And she was really honest, which I was happy about, how she changed her language. And it went a little bit, should we say, negative. I'm, I'm, I'm grateful for you sharing that with the group. Okay, but then when she came back in here, it was like butter with a melt. Hi sir, hi John, and your lunch. <laughs> There's the speaking monkey, the listening monkey, the seeing monkey, my favourite one, the moody monkey. <laughs> Think about your emotions or other people's emotions. And then the wise monkey, and the wise monkey is the wisest monkey of them all. And this is the one I want to point out to you because the wise monkey thinks about the consequences of his actions before he makes a choice. So he thinks, hold on a bit, if I do that. And so and I shared with you yesterday about random acts of kindness. It costs absolutely nothing, does it? It's nice to be nice. Yeah, it's very happy. Okay. And then if you went on to the negatives, so if you're thinking about language, so the speaking monkey, so the speaking monkey doesn't like bad language, doesn't like, um, swear words or negative words okay. because what you'll get from this is even though we're using because it's a metaphorical program we're using metaphors so although we're using the monkeys as a metaphor we can actually relate to other people's behavior you can actually relate your own behavior to it as well if you've copied stuff in the afternoon the girls tend to take part in various multi-sports with qualified coaches from Blackburn Rovers Football Club um, this is absolutely fantastic the girls get to learn lots about team building about respect, exercise and also nutrition. Having a bad attitude makes people fear you. This is your consequence corner statement. People who are too faced have a lot of friends. People who are too faced have a don't be like sheep, at least actually you don't need to follow them. For some people they might just want to fit into a certain circle. Why else do you think they want to why people might wear the mask? It's high pace. Pardon? High pace. Brilliant. That's really good. Whether it's at home, where they live, where they're hanging out, so then they go to school, they kick off, they put on the mask, they want the attention, they want to be known for being a class clown or getting people laughing at the teacher and stuff like that. And what I want you to think about each one of these, especially these, the attention and being part of a gang, is what are the consequences? Right girls, just turn to this page on your... Turn to influences, please. Yeah, environment. So I'm just going to put the estate. 
So the SJ is a, a group on Iron Croft. Not everybody's bad up on Iron Croft, but I chose to go down the cycle where I was into a lot of negative behaviour. And then the estate I lived on, my attitude back then was, well that's what everybody does on an estate, isn't it? They go up like burglaring houses or robbing stuff to like get the drugs and so on and so forth. Until I started talking to the youth worker. So which one of these do you think I have to break to break this cycle? Because it's like a cycle on a chain, isn't it? Make some new friends. Make new friends, different social groups. And then get a job. Fantastic. I got the estate and I got an house off my cousin and I got on a course at Blackman College and he also gave me an apprenticeship. He gave me a chance. And then that cycle there, because I changed my environment, that environment was, there's nothing wrong with that estate. There's some nice people on that estate who work hard and they don't do any, any criminal behaviour. But there's a lot of all other people that choose not to go down that path and I was one of them. And this was a positive cycle for me. I got new friends. Yeah. And I was going to put money on there, but I'm going to put a. Um, I'm going to put. I'm going to put. Yeah. I'm going to put uh, my house. All this college, apprenticeship, friends, different environment, going home somewhere different every night. All of a sudden, I got my level one, NVQ. Then I got my level two, NVQ, mm. and then I enrolled for my level three. And as you all know, there was a bit of a hiccup along the journey, bumped into some old friends, but ultimately. That cycle was a lot better. And whilst I was at college, I was listening to friends. So if you think about monkey see, monkey do, I could hear lads talking about setting up their own business. And I started thinking, yeah, I want my own business. And started thinking, yeah, I want to be successful in life. So it's quite simple when you think about it. Which side was better? That one. <laughs> Isn't it? Or that one. And ultimately, going to college and getting my qualifications has got me where I am today. So the first one was obviously the people I, I hung around with. If you need an app, let me know. Do you know, we, can you not see how the programme's developing now? So we talked about monkey see, monkey do. We talked about the mask. And can you see how your behaviour is being influenced all the time? You don't need to put the mask on and have a bit of attitude. You don't need to start swearing in front of your friends. So if you look at your behaviour, how your behaviour is when you're by yourself as an individual, how different is your behaviour when you're in the classroom? I enjoyed most on the programme about learning about the consequences to my actions, choices that life has to offer, um, just knowing that in, like we're in school and my education and everything, just knowing what to do and what not to do now. I enjoyed doing the sports and learning about the consequences of things like I didn't think about that before. Probably the sports because it's quite fun and just being with people from my school that I like. Oh, It'll benefit my education because I'll be concentrating more now in school and I'll think about my consequence I'll think about the consequences to my actions before I do anything. It'll make me think about my grades and make me behave more in school so I'll think about the consequences. Um it will help me to show more respect to my teachers and not get as angry in lessons as I do. It'll benefit me for the future because now I'll think about my career path and everything and think and I'll take the one that I want to go on and then I'll just think about the consequences and then so it'll help me later on in life and then to think about my actions. It'll make me think about things like my choices before it. It'll make me think about things before I do it. I prevent me from getting into trouble because you've taught me a lesson when you've come here. Because before I was an aggressive teenager, now I've changed since I've come here. So. so what's been really good from the girls is the level of commitment. They give them up their own time in the Easter holidays to come up here and be part of the Invest in the Best programme. And they're already aware that they'll be receiving an AQA accreditation. And just the way they've responded and their attitude towards being involved in the programme has just been absolutely amazing.